Rehearsal involves the repetition of information in order to retain it in short-term memory, or it describes a process of transferring information from short-term to long-term memory. And we have two types. We've got maintenance and elaborative rehearsal. And the words here are quite descriptive. Maintenance rehearsal simply involves maintaining information in short-term memory. And we do this by either repeating auditory information, either vocally or subvocally, or in the case of visual or spatial information, using our inner eye to retain that information. What we're not doing is we're not linking that incoming information to existing content in our long-term memory. We're not adding meaning, that is elaborating on it. So given the normal duration that we can retain information in short-term memory is around 20 seconds, we can maintain information by this repetition process, information in short-term memory indefinitely until we're distracted or we have interference, and then the information will simply be forgotten or discarded. Now, we use elaborative rehearsal when we want to have a deep encoding of information that we can store in the passive LTM system and then retrieve that information later on when we need it. We do this by linking incoming content with material that's already in our long-term memory. And we call this semantic encoding because what we're doing is we're taking existing content and linking it to existing that's in existing information that's already in our LTM and thus we're personalizing our learning. Now we can do this via chunking, mnemonics, etc. And what we end up with is a deeper, more effective encoding method than what we get when we use maintenance rehearsal. Thus, we're far more likely to store the information and thus we'll be able to retrieve it later on when we need it. So, in terms of similarities and differences between the two, both involve a form of repetition of incoming information. But, elaborative rehearsal is a more active process because of the manner in which we endeavour to link that incoming information with the existing content in our LTM. Maintenance rehearsal is a more passive process because we simply repeat the information without endeavouring to make it or do it in a meaningful way. Both enhance memory. In the case of maintenance rehearsal, what we're doing is we're extending the duration of short-term memory, whereas elaborative rehearsal, we're actually enhancing the storage of information in our long-term memory. Elaborative rehearsal involves attending to information according to its meaning. Maintenance rehearsal doesn't. Again, it's a passive process where we're simply sub-vocalising in the case of auditory information in order to retain it in short-term memory. Both can lead to encoding, although it's far more likely that we will do so with elaborative rehearsal, but some information that we use maintenance rehearsal for can eventually be encoded. For instance, if you say a phone number enough times in your head and you can't think of a meaningful way to do that, eventually that will stick if we can avoid interference. Elaborative rehearsal involves linking the incoming content to material that's already in our long-term memory. We don't do this with maintenance rehearsal. There's no effort to link that information to stuff that we already know. And finally, when we use elaborative rehearsal, we're far more likely to transfer that information to long-term memory, whereas much of the information that we retain in maintenance rehearsal will be forgotten when we have that interruption or interference that occurs. Hope this has helped.